So um, we're going to talk now about some of the uh, media sources that I like. I'm going to go ahead and give you some of my top media sources as a media buyer and how to get media and these sites and networks to send you a massive targeted traffic. So for the purposes of this presentation, we talk about media, paid media, or paid media ads, or paid traffic. What we're talking about is any paid traffic source that's not Google. Now these can be PPC text ads from other networks, or they can be native and content ads, and we'll talk about those specifically. Or Facebook or other social ads, they can be email ads or pop-up ads like uh, PPB networks. Uh, they can be alternative search engines, tier two search engines. There are probably a dozen search engines besides Google. They don't get as much traffic as Google, but they will allow you to do things that Google won't allow you to do. And then there's banners and display ads and, and other forms of advertisements out there. So I want people to know that you're not limited to Google. Um, if you've had a problem with them, if you're good with Google, you should totally be using Google. I mean, if you've got a product or service and you're allowed to promote, uh, you absolutely, and then it's, the traffic works and it converts and you're making money or just breaking even, but collecting data, collecting customers, building your list, great. You should totally stick with that. But if you've had any concerns or you've had ads rejected or you've been slapped or you've been suspended, or, uh, or any other issues have happened. And this is also applies to Facebook too. If you've had problems with Facebook, there's the two big networks right now, Facebook and Google. And they've really clamped down on anything that, that they don't like. And that's again, I'm not talking about stuff that's illegal or immoral. We're just talking about they have a particular user experience that they want. And if your marketing violates that and you want to keep running marketing that you've developed, your sales funnels, your pop-ups, your squeeze pages, your autoplay, if you want to keep doing that, you have options. So we're going to talk about those options in this part of the presentation. I want to say that paid media is actually much easier than Google. Now, getting back into Google uh, has been kind of, interesting because boy it is so complicated um, but if you right now are running with one of these alternative traffic sources you don't need to be an expert you just need to create a short teaser ad and send it to your landing page or your squeeze page or your sales page so it's not very complicated it's it's pretty simple you don't need a big budget a lot of these networks, I mean, in the past, you used to need ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 just to work with some of these networks. But everybody's got a self-serve system, and everybody will let you get started for 50, 100, maybe a couple hundred bucks in, uh, in many cases. So it's not complicated, and it's not um, budgetarily restrictive. Now, um, I said I'm a tracking fanatic. And I have probably four or five different tracking softwares. And we're talking about link trackers like uh, uh, CPV Lab or um, Conversion Fly or uh, Click Magic. Uh, you can use those if you have a software uh, with these particular networks that works, you like it, and you're familiar with it. Should totally work work with it. But if you don't have conversion tracking software or click trackers. Almost all of these networks that we're going to talk about have a tracking component built in. So you can just use the tracking component in the network itself. Most of them will let you track uh, clicks, uh, leads, uh, sales, actual conversions. Uh, you can also just track using like a Weber software. So if you have tracking software, you can go ahead and use it. Great. You should totally set it up. If you don't have tracking software and you're not quite ready to go down that path, um, you don't have to worry now. Uh, these things can track for you. And then the other thing is uh, almost all of these networks I'm going to talk about are affiliate friendly. So you can run your own offers. You can run client offers. You can run affiliate offers. You can run pretty much any offer that you want. 
Um, the other nice thing is a lot of these networks will allow you to achieve scale. So you can really grow and build. And if something works, and this is the case with any traffic source, this is the case with Google or Bing or, or any of the sources that we're going to talk about. Once you have something that works, you will pick up the phone, call your rep, establish a relationship, and tell them you want to um, uh, uh, scale up. You want to start growing your budget. You want to basically spend more money with them. And when you want to spend more money with a network subject to your own profitability, they'll help you do that. That's what their goal is. They want you to spend more money. Uh, but in most cases, when you get started, it's just about using their self-serve system. You don't need to reach out to anybody or talk to anybody. So you go there, you enter in your ad, you press submit, and then the ads will usually start running in a few hours or you know a few days at the most.